Welcome to a new episode of Spiridon is making a fool of himself. Today, we are looking through something very unusual to the actual format that has been going for years and many hundreds of episodes. No. Today, we're looking at a different kind of book. We are looking at Totentanz. What this is, um, the description is so extensive. I'm going to read it from the information that I've gotten while we're looking through this together. So I've gotten this in absolutely like a, a cardboard thing. It is a bit of an unboxing. I've never looked into it. Um, I had to see what was in the package. That's why I opened it. And I was like, ah, it's this one. So what we're going to do today is... This is loud. Um, we're going to look through this together and embark on this amazing adventure that is Totentanz. Let's do this. Kunstknechte. I guess these are the two editions that have been made of a product. Uh, I read a little bit about this already in uh, the information that I got from the author. Uh, this is from the project called Cut, and they are, are in Russia. Um, I got to talk with them due to the project that is called Codex Obscurus that I started, and through Victor, um, the uh, uh, Viktor Pushkarev, the um, uh, the author, the the uh, artist, not the author, the artist that created the tarot deck and uh, also the design of the book, um, the cover and uh, the the font and uh, generally the type making was done by him with Linocut, and uh, I think they got interested in uh, what I've been doing through him and because of what he was doing. And so they reached out and I told them I would l love to look through this. So here we are looking through this. I think we're gonna start with the, with the, with this version, with the one in, in cardboard. So I'm gonna start by opening this. Eliofagia Totentanz, musical release and bonuses. So that's apparently a band. Dans Macabre. So as far as I know, these prints are handmade, which is spectacular. We're gonna get to this while we're looking through it. Wow. 30 numbered copies. Soviet. I cannot read this. Estanque paper? Dans Macabre. Oh, this looks really nice. You, I don't know if you can see that. If you have, wow. If you have a paper fetish, like I do, and this will look extremely interesting to you. Sorry for the silence. I'm um, I'm absolutely amazed by this. This looks great. I love the paper. I really love it. I probably have to try and and open it a bit so it doesn't close automatically. Just a little. Yeah, I'm not flipping it on purpose, by the way. Oh, here we go. Danza de la Muerte. So this is a... Uh, this is a group of artists that have created this. Um, and uh, I think it's time that I start reading a little bit 
from what I've been sent. So Cut is a project dedicated to printmaking. Primary, primarily, sorry, relief printing, a relief printing run by one person. Its main goals are bringing the knowledge about printmaking techniques to the larger audience, creating interesting collaborations and exhibitions forming a community of printmakers in Russia. Cut started in St. Petersburg in March 2020 and grew out of Dana Makaridina's strong interest in printmaking. It now has two main platforms, Instagram and Telegram. I gotta look a bit closer yet. Is this handwritten? There's like gold dust on top, like here and here. Super cool. Like, it, I don't know if the if the camera can actually show how it is because. I mean, you see that there has been pressure on the prints, obviously, because that's how you do it. But it looks so much cooler if you have your actual eyes on it. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read out the participating artists. I'm very sorry for that. But um, I would be way too embarrassed butchering all these names because just glancing at them, I find it kind of hard to. Okay, so Danse Macabre print in relief is a one-of-a-kind project uniting 10 young Russians, Russian artists around the medieval European motive Dance of Death, Totentanz, Danse Macabre. Um, all right, so for now, I'm gonna take this folder and put it away and continue informing you about this project in a bit. Now this looks pretty exciting. Um, if I got it right, the content is probably the same, I'm pro but I'm not sure. I am really not sure because maybe I think there's more. We're going to look into it. I'm going to fold it a bit more. So it stays open. And if it's the same, then just end the video. <laughs> we have this, oh yeah, okay. So this is different. Oh, this is part of the folder. Very cool. It's the first time I've seen something like that. I've never seen anything like that. So these pages are in it. Okay. Um, so the info says, we have made two art books dedicated to Dons Macabre in the form of Livre d'Artiste, an unbound collection of original prints fully hand printed in two different editions. Our work on this project lasted from August through December 2020, uh, 2021, and the final result was presented in Moscow on uh, the 21st of December in 2021. If you could smell this, but you can't. Haha. <laughs> Super cool. <sighs> I'm really tempted to put some of this on my wall. So uh, yeah, there were two editions. I can I can tell you a bit about that. Uh, why not? So edition one in a black cardboard envelope with hand printed etiquette includes 10 black and white printings, both woodcuts and lino cuts printed on old Soviet paper for printmaking. Ah, oh, it felt like old Soviet paper, <laughs> no, but it, it, it really is amazing paper. Um, 
the cover, title page, and three introduction pages with text in Russian and English are digitally printed on all lean paper. Between the prints, we have inserted sheets of transparent paper with quotes on death from the Buddhist, okay, Dhammapada treatise in Latin translation from the 19th century. Wow. Which gives them a medieval European vibe. In addition, the book contains a sheet with a QR code that gives you access to the musical release issues issued especially for Totem Plants by the Russian electronic net label Eliophagia. I'm reading this Greek, I'm sorry. All right, so edition two is probably what we're looking through now. And it's um, in firm box made of linel tan char car carbon carbon flocked cover material with embossing and includes 10 color and black and white prints, both woodcuts and lino cuts printed on Fabriano. Uh, Rosapina paper, 285 gram. It is amazing paper. Oh, wow. I really like this one. This is really cool. I'm gonna keep reading. Um, line of cut on the cover page is hand printed, as are the block print copies of Holbein's initials on the three intro pages of the prints are also interlaid with transparent paper with Latin Dhammapada quotes. Um, this edition contains a QR code. I think this one should go on the wall. <laughs> this is really great. I like this a lot. Um, oh God, I lost the line. Uh, this edition also contains a QR code leading you to the Heliophagia musical release, etc., etc. Besides, you will find a bonus line of cut from Sergei Leiman, author of the project's idea at the end of the book. That was the one we saw there. A limited edition of 10, of which six are for sale. So I have something very special here, and you probably won't. Extremely interesting. I hope I did it justice. You say that like that? Probably another thing I'm messing up, but I hope I hope that I didn't say anything wrong, guys, because this is a lot of information, but I didn't want to miss on any of that. I think all of that is really important, especially since what I think about this, what is super important about this project is you can see that people's hearts are in this. Um, this is full of blood. Now this is full of, of soul and dedication. And this is exactly why I like projects like this. Um, because uh, you feel like you are part of something, something bigger. It's always like that when people collaborate together. So this is, uh, this is, this is super, super good. This is a great folder. Let me figure out how to close it. Can I, with my sausage fingers. Um, I'm gonna add some information in the links of this video, especially about the um, the author, Dana. And um, there is some more to be said about this. And I hope that I can include all kinds of links that are relevant to the project. I feel like this is, uh, this is so special that people should know about this. And I hope there will be more from this great ensemble. These people uh, really know what they're doing. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this as much as as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, uh, Dana, for sending me all of this. Um, I'm, I'm really happy and honored that you thought um, I would be worthy. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked. Enjoy. Have a great day. Have a great week. Here it's Monday. I don't know when I will release the video. Uh, by the way, check out my Patreon because that's what people say on YouTube, right? And uh, join the um, join the Discord. I have plenty of new books, and people buy plenty of new books there. We're talking about books and collections all the time, and also things like this special thing here. 
And uh, I'm sure you would love to uh, to meet with uh, like-minded people and chat about that. So that's enough advertising for now. Take care and have a great week. Bye-bye. Thank <music> you.